As tributes continued to pour in following the death of beloved actress Betty White, one of the most consistent accolades about the Golden Girls star was her love of animals. According to White, her passion for all creatures was handed down from her parents. She wrote in the introduction to her autobiography, Betty and Friends, My parents were genuine animal nuts, and I am eternally grateful that they have passed much of that passion on to me. You are so beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow, he sure is. In addition, Betty sought to take her passion for animals to the entertainment world and even created a television show called The Pet Set, which aired in the 1970s. The series featured famous actors and actresses such as Mary Tyler Moore, Burt Reynolds, and Carol Burnett showing off their pets, as well as segments that showed off more exotic animals. With their love for four-legged creatures well known, it's no surprise that Betty had quite the menagerie of pets throughout her lifetime. However, it appears that Betty began reducing the number of critters in her care as she got older and older. As reported by Parade, White had one pet several years prior to her death, a golden retriever named Pontiac who had originally worked as a guide dog with Guide Dogs for the Blind, an organization Betty had supported for years. Pontiac reportedly left the guide dog program because he was too friendly. He would run to greet everyone he saw as he walked down the street. But this was perfect for White, who joked that as soon as she met the sweet pup, she knew she had to keep him. She didn't name the pup, she told TV Guide, but she prefers to think of him as the indigenous American leader rather than the car brand. She told the magazine, When the Pontiac car business went out of business, I sat him down and I explained, Pontiac, it wasn't your fault, honey. You didn't do anything wrong. They just went out of business. There's even a persistent online rumor that Pontiac would inherit up to $5 million from White's will. But if that was ever true, Pontiac didn't live to see the windfall. He died several years before White did in 2017, according to People magazine. White's personal assistant told People that White didn't adopt any additional animals after Pontiac died. However, White continued to meet lots of doggy visitors and additional four-legged friends in the years before her death. After her death, her agent and friend Jeff Witcha shared with People that he once asked White after Pontiac died if she wanted another pet, and she gave him her reasons for not getting one. She was worried she would outlive any dog she brought home. Witcha said, and I would kid her. I said, Betty, you're out leaving everybody. You're not going anywhere. But she was so sensitive to animals. That sensitivity meant that not only did White have pets, but she also supported animal welfare causes throughout her long lifetime. Among her substantial efforts, she paid to evacuate otters and penguins from a New Orleans aquarium after Katrina. She supported the Morris Animal Foundation's work in developing cures for feline leukemia and the parvovirus, and was even honored by the American Humane Association for her work with the organization over seven decades. Pontiac was far from the only pet she loved throughout her lifetime, though there are no firm sources that can verify exactly how many pets she had over her incredible 99 years. Some internet sleuthing suggests that she had well over two dozen animals. In the TV Guide interview, Betty lamented about the recent loss of three pets, which included a 16-and-a-half-year-old Shih Tzu, a 10-year-old Golden, and an 11-year-old Himalayan Kitty. In another interview, this time from 1958, Betty mentioned the three dogs in her care at the time. Bandy, a Pekingese, Stormy, a St. Bernard, and Danny, a miniature poodle. Last but not least, Betty admitted to Newsweek that at one point her family owned a whopping 26 dogs. With such a large heart, it's no surprise that she had such a lasting impact on Hollywood and the public at large.